I started using hard drugs when I was about 14, 15 years old. I'm an alcoholic. I've lost jobs, I've lost relationships, and became homeless. I was living under a bridge here in Chico. I've got a long history with drugs. I was sentenced a year in jail. I was pretty broken. I started using meth, rock cocaine. I was at the end of the road already. You know, I was 14, I started partying, drinking on a regular basis daily. I remember making the decision that I was going to cross the line. I was going to become what most people would call a junkie. I'd go through dumpsters daily for cans for my alcohol, and there were occasions I would find food there. Alcohol became my life. If I didn't drink, I wasn't happy. I didn't realize anybody cared about me. You've just heard real voices of real people in Chico who've had their lives rehabilitated with help from someone who does care. Most of us associate the Salvation Army with Christmas. We drop money into the donation kettles as smiling volunteers ring their bells. But do you know what the Salvation Army does the rest of the year? Day in, day out, around the clock, for people in need in our community? And the Salvation Army is in the, it's in the business of saving lives. And I'm definitely one of them. The Salvation Army operates an adult rehabilitation program in Chico. The program was created to house up to 50 residents at a time, providing services to both men and women, which suit their individual recovery needs. It was a journey that really began 20 years ago, and in 2007, the doors of the George Walker Adult Rehabilitation Program opened. In that time, in uh, just over 18 months, we've had 54 graduates uh, from this facility, and uh, we're proud of that. My mind goes to, to Jodine, and, uh, a young lady who uh, came to us, and her testimony just touched our hearts, and to now have her uh, on our staff. Uh, she's come so far, and uh, she's just one of those success stories. When I was about 14, 15 years old, I started using heavy drugs, hard drugs, and I was a functional drug addict for a long time. I have a college education, I taught uh, continuation school. I pulled it off for quite a while. And then I remember making the decision that I was, I was gonna cross the line and that I was going to become what most people would call a junkie. And it wasn't a decision I was proud of, it was just the progression of my illness. The Adult Rehabilitation Program, or ARP, differs from other rehab facilities in several significant ways. First, beneficiaries make a six-month commitment to their recovery, as opposed to 28 or 60 days. I tried to get into the program for about a year, and I just couldn't make the commitment to get clean, because I had to test clean to get in, and I really had to make the, take that step. Just like I took the step to become an addict, I had to take the step to, be, to become completely committed to recovery. I finally got to that point. Second, the certified and licensed staff facilitate spiritual, not just behavioral growth in the residents' lives. I went through treatment a couple times before. By the time I got to the Salvation Army, I had basically become the person that you that, that lived a lifestyle that you wouldn't wish upon anyone. I was the person that you would you would you would look at and say, wow, that person sacrificed everything. They've sacrificed their body their mind, their spirit, and certainly their relationship with God, which was something that I didn't even consider at the time. It's spiritually based. Every week we have Bible studies, we have uh, chapel, uh, both Wednesday night and Sunday morning, and they're presented with the Word of God. Um, they're not required to subscribe to our beliefs while in our program, but certainly we expose them to biblical principles with the hope that um, they will acknowledge God. Another key difference between the Salvation Army's rehab program and that of others is there's no cost to the beneficiaries. Financial donations come from people and businesses in our community. Now the beneficiaries contribute as well. They work in the warehouse sorting and processing donated clothing. They work in housekeeping, in the kitchen and much more. Most of all, 
beneficiaries learn valuable life and work skills that they can build on after their time in the program ends. When you donate your unwanted toys, clothes, and household goods to the Salvation Army, they're sold in our stores around the North Valley. Nothing is wasted. Even less than perfect items can bring in money for the Army. These bales of clothing, for instance, will eventually make their way overseas to people in need while still putting precious coins into the Salvation Army's kettles. The Salvation Army is here for the people of Chico and Butte County year-round. It seemed like the whole world was working for me, that God was working for me, the whole world was working for me to get into recovery long before I was. I had the courts working for me, I had the police working for me, I had my parents, the community, the Salvation Army. Finally, I, I, I took the step and I came here. This program's definitely changed my life, and the Salvation Army as a whole has changed my life. The easiest way for the public to be involved with that is just by cleaning out your closet, uh, bringing those donated items to us, uh, writing out a check if you have the financial means to do that. It's all um, a tool which we can put into our coffers to be able to help individuals that truly are coming to us and saying, I need the help. And uh, Chico is a very giving community and uh, we know that this facility will be around for a very long time as a result of their continued support.